<laughs> you know we're cheersing stuff. Oh no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hi everybody! Welcome to another episode of Drunk Movie Day. I'm so excited. It's the holidays. Aren't you excited? Because the trees and the snow. I'm so lucky because today I have two great guests on and we're going to switch things up a bit. We're going to keep it fun. We're going to keep it light because it is the holidays. I thought we'd have a special holiday edition of this and really me and my guests don't want to leave the couch today, which we will not be doing. So I'd like to bring them on. They are the hosts of a very funny podcast called Retail Nightmares. They're amazing people. I love them, and you're soon going to love them as well. They are Jessica and Alicia. Take your hand. Sure. I feel like... Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. You need to get in the frame. You need to get in the frame. Thank you. There you go. Show you two. It's the holiday season. There you go. Get warm and cuddly. Do you two like the holidays? No. I'm uh, 50-50. Yeah. I like aspect. I like Christmas decorations mm -hmm. and Christmas music. Okay. I exactly. changed some lyrics to a Christmas song this morning. Oh, you did? When I was it? when I was in the bath. Changed the lyrics of Felice <clears throat> Navidad to be like, I came in your butt. <laughs> oh, Jessica. Um, I came in your butt. <laughs> Imagine. I want to wish you a stinky butthole. Yeah. The 12 wanks of pissmas. Oh. And it's just each day you're just trying to be, <laughs> a, swear as much as a possible. Keyboardist yeah, I or like, a drummer? Yeah, yeah, I can. Five <laughs> cups of cum. <laughs> Four. Buttholes eaten. <laughs> what? Wow. That's many. <laughs> um, that's Four? many. I could do more. Really? Ten. Just line Ooh. them up. Line them up. Line them oh, up. you're like Lance but Armstrong. Like, round. Uh, 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 <laughs> line up the butts in an advent calendar so it's oh, like on the 10th day. Each time day. you open it, it's like a little chocolate starfish. That way, that's how you eat out a butt. That's yeah, just, that's how you can do 10. That's, well, that's I start they... with a butterfly kiss. So. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> <laughs> and you do two kisses yes. on each cheek <laughs> for five minutes. It's French. And then you tell them you love it's them French. and yeah. then you go to sleep. We were just talking to Alicia. What about you and holidays? What's your opinion? I hate them. Yeah. Um, I enough. know how to dress for them. Yeah. But That's the fun part. I hate them. <laughs> when do we drink? Today we're going to do things different because it's the holiday season and it's crummy we'll out and there's no good movies out, Star Wars included. Break it down. Suck it. Suck it. I think an institution is the Hallmark Christmas specials. Because apparently they now make around 20 a year. I think we'll keep it a surprise until we cut to the trailer. All right. I think we'll do that and then we'll come back. What are you expecting to see in a Hallmark movie? What are some things that you expect to see? People that were formerly <laughs> underwear models. Softcore porn? I don't. Hallmark do you think we're watching porn? Fingers crossed. Oh, well, I didn't get you a chaser, so. Well, happy holidays. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Good? I really could use another one. Yeah! Here we fucking go! Alicia Witt and David Alpe star in a Hallmark Channel original Christmas movie. Oh! At a blustery Vermont inn, two heartsick writers will find romance. Fuck Christmas! Let's take it to the streets. Let's take it to the streets. Take it to the streets. Take it to the streets. Let's take it to the streets. Take it to the streets. Oh, Jesus name. So we're back. Yeah. I mean, we never really left. We just finished watching Mistletoe, Mistletoe in. Mistletoe in. in. Mistletoe in. Mistletoe in. Mistletoe in. in. <laughs> Starring the daughter from The Sybil Show. And Was it just called The Sybil Show or just called Sybil? Sybil. But she has one way of acting and that is with her mouth. And Which her neck. <laughs> oh, we're making so many mouth sounds. I this work was watch. beneath her. I feel like I still see her in things like movies and TV. Those I are things. I feel like I still like see her in my dreams. Like, it's yeah, totally I still fine. feel like I show pictures of her to my hairdresser. <laughs> and you're like, anyway, <laughs> yes. I wish. same as usual. The pleasures of watching this movie. Oh, well, the pleasures. Was that many films. <laughs> Don't throw it away. Many. many <laughs> so we recognize all these spots, which never get snow. Uh, so they've covered them with fake snow and CGI. Which was nice. Did you do air quotes with your hands? CGI. No, it was no, like it was snow snow Oh, it was movie magic. Yeah. I'm CGI. It's sorry. A thing. Can either of you describe the plot in 30 seconds? Yes. 
she's a, an aspiring writer and she has a really shitty boyfriend who's like, yeah, your writing's not real. You just write on a blog. And she's like, why don't you support me? And he's like, bye bye. I'm going to break up with you at a book reading. In a letter, which he handed to her oh, next yeah. to her. And he's like, please read now, which like, if you do that, you're a sociopath. Yeah. Uh, and so he's she, also like just so desperate for someone to read his writing. Yeah. <laughs> so she's like, oh, look at this thing online. It's a writer's workshop in Vermont. And she goes there and then immediately, like, meets this other guy who looks, like, very similar to her boyfriend. Just Uh, a short. And he immediately starts, like, negging her. Well, he shows up wearing, like, steampunk glasses and a top hat and a (laughs) long trench coat. Lots of... Yeah. And his hands are actually octopus suckers. Yeah. And he calls calls himself... Mystery. (laughs) Her ex-boyfriend's there and he throws her... At some point, manuscripts and manuscript garbage, garbage. Yeah. which is never fully addressed. He uh, never gets his comeuppance. I'm sorry, I just got goosebumps. I'm so mad. Because. Sure, beware. You're in for a scare. This is him getting his comeuppance. Him turning to camera going, hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> oh, I lost a job. Off to ghost <laughs> and he a gets new a woman. Shrug. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Her and the new guy have like a million scenes together where they just. No, the whole movie's just the two of them. They keep being like. I like your. Your, your scarf that well, you're wearing I'll over top of later. your... This is how they wore scarves. Real loose. He lies to her. He's actually the guest author who's going he, to he pick the... He really lies to her. Yeah, like a lot. For no reason, though. For no reason. He went through a divorce, guys. Oh, my God. It's the hardest Which thing. Which was his fault when he explains it. Yeah, because he was a workaholic or something. Inabilities to... Are you choking yourself right now? Um, it's the only way I can come. Don't judge <laughs> me. I want to go home. Should we do a quick scene of the the height differential? Can we do like a act out like a little a, scene here? Like an act out? Yeah. You guys go for it. Yeah, you want to do it? Okay, so Kay. what's my motivation? Your motivation is that you are taller than me in real life. You're a great writer. I think you're amazing. You're not just saying that, are you? Your height is so consistent. Don't slip in the snow. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I want to talk about the flavor saver waiter. <laughs> <laughs> he was literally in the movie for like two seconds. <laughs> Shows up like an apparition. This like very a pale white man with some sideburns and then just a small flavor saver. It's a full rectangle. <laughs> he was a pale man wearing like all white as a server against like a white background and the the <laughs> dark black square of facial hair like stood out like a Sugar beware. You're in for a scare. The first few times that the two main characters run into each other, they literally run into each other. Yeah. But there was one moment where she was having a drink and he walked first 10 feet without looking up oh, and right. then and he just, shoulder like, her. her. Yeah. And then he goes, ah! even though he walked for like, how do you not see That's somebody? That's his classic move. Violently threw so- snowballs at her. From like from a foot her. apart. Like, ah! <laughs> like they can only arm. afford this much snow. Yeah. And then she, her character has to go, oh, you little, even though any other normal person would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Metaphorically speaking. Nope. Yeah. Whoa. Fuck you, asshole. Her friend was huge, an extra. A, few, a huge part of the So background. Jessica's a little bias. I took a drink every time I saw her, and that's why you I enjoyed this You took a drink when you saw everything. We just... Hey, mm-hmm. now. You invited us to this thing. Hey, now. You're an all-star. Get your game on. Go. Play. Play. Somebody. Ding so dong. More confidence. You're a wing wong. I'm a boner. Confidence. I'm gay. Do that. Whoa. Well. Whoa. <laughs> well. Alicia, please go ahead. Okay, so this movie was shit. <laughs> what? Um, what? The acting by Alicia Witt. Amazing. Amazing. She works at a car dealership, but she's not a real writer. You're a real writer if you're writing. Please. Don't let some ex-boyfriend throw your manuscript in the garbage without <laughs> punching him in the dick. Get that dick punched. And balls. I want to go back to the original shitty boyfriend who is so threatened by this woman that he yeah. breaks up with her. Yeah. And then throws her work in the garbage. Oof. Set him on fire. I mean, socially. Yeah, break me up a piece of that. Kick Kit Kat, Kat bar. bar. 
No. Anyway, they collide. Her bag, of course, opens. And this is usually like, oh no, tampons everywhere. <laughs> but this time it was like, sleigh bells and tinsel. Whoops. And he was like, did you bring your own decorations? And she was like, no. Well, yes. So what if I did? And then he goes and visits her in her hotel room. She's got at least three nutcrackers. Mm -hmm. She's got a full-sized... A uh, Christmas tree with decorations. Mm -hmm. He's like, wait a minute, did you decorate your room? And she's like, no. So what if I did? Like it's so, Jeez. it's so like one of those trying to be like. The so like, what if I thought about equal rights? <laughs> <laughs> so what if I think that women are people too? It was ridiculous, but then. Although he, it would course, be weird if you walked into somebody's hotel room and they had brought an entire Christmas tree and three. Oh no, it's for sure bonkers. Like, oh. like she definitely has like some past trauma in her life. That the, the yeah, only way I can go to sleep is that like there's a million sugar cookies on my bed. Like that sounds nice though. It would smell yeah. so good. Yeah, it would be better than the Not, alternative, which I is mean, life gluten free ones though. What should our final notes be about this movie? Don't watch it. Um, well, I mean, I don't think anybody's... So many people are going to accidentally watch this. Watch it It has no Adrian. magic. Remember when it's it just, just showed like up in the sweater, by the way. for no reason? That yeah, and you're all, you guys were both like, oh, okay, and I was... Sorry, I'm late. <gasps> time. Mmm, can I get a scoop of that, please? Better make mine a double. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> you can, you can... Thanks. Yeah. Out of 10, oh hey, that person's in this movie? Out of 10, what do you give it? Zero. Zero? This movie's a zero. Out of 10? Yeah, 6.9. Oh wow. Oh wait, take that point out. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we it's go. It's a 4.2, zero. Yeah. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. All these people can find your lovely podcast, Retail Nightmares, iTunes. It's on I iTunes. So. Just go to RetailNightmares.com. Yeah. That's yeah. Where oh, it's at. on there. Yeah. Sweet. So RetailNightmares.com. Right, wait. There we go. See you next time. I'm sorry.